Greetings all, Scully here. Welcome back to our free-to-play run of Star Wars The Old Republic. And in this episode, we're going to be conversing with Talos Drillic. I just wanted to thank you again for having me along. I'm honored to work with someone of your expertise. The archaeological pursuits of the Sith and Empire have been separate for too long. It is our common history. We have a shared duty to unearth it. Sith rarely seek knowledge for its own sake. Your purity is refreshing. I wouldn't consider myself purer than anyone else in my line of work. I'm honored to do what I do. From the depths of the ground, history calls us to save it from obscurity. I do my best to answer that call. I can tell you do the same. You remind me of my old mentor, Orsilio Gan. He was the one who discovered something about Nagasato's secret apprentice. Advanced archaeology a hundred years, no detail ever escaped him. But what am I doing talking when there's work to be done? As we say in the service, the dead aren't getting any younger. So, explain this to me. The tomb of Naga Sadao on Koribam was built by Tulak Horde before Naga Sadao was even born? And that's where you found the Deshard Shadow Killer? And when your master tried to steal your body, you use the artifacts of Tulag Horde to put her being into this to shard? You forgot the part where I received aid from my long-dead ancestor who was murdered by Tulag Horde. Kalik. He was one of the most powerful Sith Lords of his time. Perhaps the most powerful. And an alien, too. To think how the Empire might have been different if he had killed Tulag Horde and not the other way around. Darth Zash and I have been talking. Well, when she's around. I would love to speak more with Kem Val, but I don't think he likes me. Being locked in stasis for hundreds of years was hard on him. <laughs> you know I never thought of it that way. Yes, I'm sure that's it. Perhaps I could give him a few social pointers. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Excellent. I will speak with him at the next opportunity. I understand you inherited quite the archive from Zash. I would love to see it sometime. I would love to show it to you. Excellent. The quest for knowledge is eternal. Yeah, let me know how that turns out between you and Kim Vall. If you don't mind my asking, how is it you became Sith, my lord? The process is completely foreign to me. I had a brother who was force sensitive. Darth Maar came and took him to Korriban, but we didn't hear from him again after that. Ungrateful little rat thinks he's too good for us now, my father said. But really, I think he just missed him. If I ever run into your brother, I'll let you know. Oh, it's all right. We didn't really get along anyway. He was always faster and stronger, and he usually had a stick in his hand. Father always wanted one son in the Sith and one in the military. Admittedly, the Imperial Reclamation Service wasn't his first choice, but after all the cursing stopped, I think he warmed up to the idea. What did your father have against the Imperial Reclamation Service? The Drillics are a proud family line, and my father is simply the proudest of the lot. The Imperial Reclamation Service shores up the Empire's foundations against the flood of forgetfulness and misinformation that threatens our history. I'd like to see a fighter pilot establish the lineage of a 3,000-year-old Sith Lord with nothing but rocks and a dead language. I have always believed that knowledge will ultimately win out over the lightsaber and the blaster. Thank you, my lord. It is my honor to serve. You'll never believe what I found. I thought I'd left this behind planets ago. Is it some kind of artifact? This is the tooth of a 4,000-year-old proto-rancor. But look, see this? It's some kind of metal. Not cortosis, but very similar. This rancor was tamed. It was my very first discovery. I carry it with me everywhere for luck. I thought I'd lost it when I fell into an old tomb a couple of digs ago. It turned out it was caught in the lining of my pocket. On Korriban, I pulled an artifact from an ancient holocron that was supposed to be unopenable. You mean from the pyramid and the tomb of Mark Ragnos? How did you do it? With a sonic excavator, or some device of your own? It was painfully obvious, really. I used lightning. Hmm. 
You know, there's a theory in the archaeological world that certain ancient devices, holocrons especially, have resonances. It's something to do with the Force. Just as only Sith can activate holocrons, some ancient devices can only be activated by certain Sith bloodlines. Well, most archaeologists reject it as unscientific. But there's so much about the galaxy we don't understand. Who am I to say what's scientific? I'm not one to dismiss an idea just because it seems a little crazy. Oh, yes, my lord. I thought so. Uh, but if you'll excuse me, I have some new findings to analyze. Uh, my lord, remember I told you about my mentor, Orsilio Gan? He took me under his wing after I discovered the domesticated Rancor Tooth. I was polishing the Rancor Tooth and placing it among my things when I noticed a medallion he gave me last time we met. I decided to call him, but none of his frequencies work anymore. He might just be on a dig somewhere remote. Never go to a dig site on your own, and never go without making sure someone knows. Second rule of archaeology. I spoke to him only a little while ago. We met at a cantina on Nar Shaddaa for a little light archaeological talk. He said he was on his way to Malachor III. That's when he gave me the medallion. It's the last I saw of him. What was this medallion he gave you? Oh, it was just a knockoff. He said some hut tried to pass it off as the real thing. It was quite canny, though. I just thought he'd had too much to drink. <laughs> he did love to imbibe. Does the medallion have anything written on it? No, just old runes. Most of it nonsense. I'm sure it's nothing. You can't keep an Imperial Reclamation Service man down. I guess I'll keep an ear and an eye out. I'll let you know if I discover anything. My lord, I've solved it. I've figured it out. I don't understand how I could have missed it. The outer layer of the medallion responds to heat. It melted away and revealed this. It's a heat-resistant casing with a data chip inside. I'm beginning to believe your claims that your mentor was a genius. He was certainly one of a kind. The chip said he was looking for the tomb of Via Santinus. He said he was going to Malachor III, but everyone knows the tomb is on Alderaan. I believe Orsilio Gan went to Alderaan. I'm going to find him. Did you have any luck finding your mentor? No, my lord. I'm afraid the trip was all for nothing. Orsilio Gan was already gone, and nobody could tell me where. He was definitely in the tomb of Via Santinus. His workmanship was all over the site. But he left no clue that I could find. I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere. Don't you worry. I've not given up hope. Detective work such as this isn't much different from archaeology, after all. It's all about observation and deduction. And Orsilio Gan taught me well. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this in the tomb of Via Santinus. I thought you might find it handy. I do love presents. Ayas Antinus was a meticulous record keeper. These are the genealogies of all the great Sith Lords of his day. Look, here is your ancestor, Lord Kallig. Bloodlines are very important in the Empire, my lord. Not to mention the historical value. My lord, I think we make an excellent team. Truly! Destiny herself has conspired to bring us together. Your help has been extremely valuable. Oh, thank you, my lord. I've learned so much at your side. My archaeologist instincts are honed to a razor's edge, or a pick's point, as the case may be. Cruel nemesis, torment me no further. I surrender. I'm not worthy of finding Orsilio Gan. He was depending on me, and I failed. Don't give up so easily. We can crack this. My lord, I would welcome your expertise. I've tried everything. I've even gone back to the medallion to see if my mentor left me any other clue. If the Imperial Reclamation Service knew how many codes I violated trying to decipher this medallion, they'd have me stripped of my rank. Don't worry. I won't report you. 
thank you, my lord. I suppose I will just have to let it rest. Perhaps when my mind is fresh, I can evaluate the situation from a new angle. Wait! Why didn't I see this before? The medallion came with a chain! It wasn't the original, so I thought it wasn't important! How wrong I was! I often find when something's difficult, it helps to approach it from another direction. Once again, my limitations are exposed. If you'll excuse me, I must examine the chain more closely. I'm confident it's the key to finding him. My lord! My lord! I've solved it! The chain and the medallion contained a hollow frequency. I wanted you here when I called it. Don't waste any time. Call. Oh, it seems too good to be true. I must rely on your judgment that it's not a trick. Talos, my student, if you are receiving this message, then you have understood the riddle I gave you. I've gone to the tomb of Via Santinus' unnamed apprentice on Aduba VI. I don't understand why, but both Sith and Jedi are after this tomb and its secrets. It's the duty of the Imperial Reclamation Service to preserve this history. If I do not return, come find me and finish my work. Auxilio Gan is in trouble. He needs me. I must find him. Find your mentor. Help him. Good luck. I can think of no more fitting place to die than a tomb, but I will do my best to return safely. <clears throat> my lord, I return, but... Orsilio Gan does not. He's dead. What caused his death? Doing his work. He was pursued by both Jedi and Sith. He managed to use the tomb's traps against them, but in the process he imprisoned himself. His discoveries are amazing. They will make a wonderful paper. But I can't help but wonder if it was worth dying for. You've given your life to reclaiming the Empire's past. Are you telling me it's not worth dying for? You know, you're right. How silly it was of me to doubt. And to think I was considering tendering my resignation? Oh, what would Orsilio Gan think if he could see me now? I must continue his work. Thank you for restoring my faith, my lord. I'm happy to see you're so pleased. The historical mind is ever curious and never sated. That might be it. No, oh, maybe not. No, oh, he still has one for us. My lord, I just wanted to thank you again. The wonders I have seen working by your side are more than I could have ever hoped. Truly, you are a paragon among Sith and the Empire. I seek only knowledge. If it serves the Empire, then good. That's precisely what I admire about you, my lord. Your love of knowledge. It's gone out of practice, but there's evidence that certain non-Force users used to pledge themselves as loyal vassals to true Sith. These vassals and their families were bound to the Sith and their family for generations. Will you accept my pledge to you and your heirs? I would be remiss to turn down such a heartfelt offer. It's an honor to serve you. That's it. Uh, thoughts on that so far? Um great voice acting um, I think he did a really good job especially I think they got the size of the character and all that down good um, didn't like the over the cam shots and once again you know get off the ship and actually do some things with your companions and up on our next one we've got is Zalik the last one yep looks like it so next time we'll do Zalik hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time Scully signing out <laughs>